Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about one more problem from lead code. It is an easy problem which is construct string from binary tree. So you are given a root of a binary tree and you have to construct a string out of that which consists of parentheses and integers from that binary tree with the pre-order traversal of that tree. Now that's the whole thing that you have to do a pre-order traversal of the string like this whole tree and just find out this top of like like if you said output this particular tree in this like in this manner that is it is one then it is two and it is three so like bracket increasing whenever like completed the bracket closes out so now we go to the right hand side bracket open and so on so different trees in the nested form is stored so like that is the first tree that is one in the nested form it is two and four and then, so this is the left half and this is the right half so that now what you can actually understand is like we have to do pre order that is fine but there is one small thing. Okay. If you understood, just go over the examples every time of, of for any problem. So what you can see is that in this problem as well and in, in this problem, what you can actually see is that if we go on the left hand side, it is having like two on the left hand side and it is having three on the right hand side, that is fine. But on the two on the left hand side, there is nothing. So they have put an empty bracket. But on the right hand side, they have something. So they put four. So what you can actually understand is that if there is nothing on the left hand side, you have to still put a bracket out there. But if it is on the right hand side, if it has something, then it is fine. Now, but if uh, there is nothing on the right hand side, let's say like this, then you don't have to put a bracket for the right hand side. For right hand side, you don't, have, you don't have to put anything. But for the left hand side, you have to put, if the left hand side doesn't have anything, but right hand side have, then you have to put a bracket to understand that this is not the left hand side, but the right hand side. So that you understand this is a tri itself. Okay, you have to understand this. From this, maybe let's say from this, there might be a problem, maybe convert this to a pre-order traversal so you can you can understand that this bracket like it will not cause any ambiguity that this bracket is for the right hand side tree not the left hand side and similarly the left hand side is empty but from this you can understand that, that there is only one so there is only left hand side what the point okay now how you can do that it's very simple you have to do, just do a pre-order traversal using recursion and then at every point you have to just check that if for any node if it has no nodes as a child node which means it is a leaf node then you don't have to go any further. You have to just print out that inside of a particular parenthesis. If it, if any node doesn't have any right node, only has a left node, then you have only one bracket. If it has a one right node and left node, just do your recursion. That is fine. But it doesn't have any left node, but it has right node. So you have to again put a packet for that. That's the overall thing. I don't have much to explain here. Because you, just, you will understand it from the code part because, but that's sort of logic here that you have to just understand that this part is most important here. Let's move on to the code part. If you doesn't understand, we'll take one example as well. What we'll do is that we have called a function that is built, passing out this root. This build function will take the root because the base conditions are there. The base condition is that if the root is null, there's nothing more to traverse, then it on the empty string. Else, if the left and right are both null, which means that it is a leaf node, then what we'll do is just we'll just print out the value of the node we are on. We don't have to iterate any further down the line. If the right node is null, the right node is null, we only have to iterate over the left node. What I'll do is that we will what, what you have to see is that we will take the current value, like whatever the value you have, and then in the brackets, iterate the left node value. So it's better what we are trying to do is that we, this is the value it is the value and in the brackets we are storing out the left and the right subtree values for a particular node so what we are trying to do is that for this value the left value only exists so we will only exist the left value so left value in the brackets is so we will call this build function again for the left hand side of the tree node and put that inside inside this bracket fine but if there is the left right node is not null which means that it has something what we'll do is that or maybe the right node has something which means that we have to also take care of the left as well as right so we will first print out the root node value and then in the brackets store the left half like it did over or call the left half as well as now iterate over the right half as well okay we'll because Let's say the left half will give nothing but an empty string because there, it has nothing to be traversed out. Still, we have an empty brackets open and closing. And the right will have something, so it will be stored inside this and call inside this and just stored inside these brackets. But if the right is null, we don't have to give an empty brackets out there. We just have to put one bracket for the left, uh, left half of the tree. 
and that's it and the value of the root node like the node we are on similarly this is the recursive function this is the two base condition this is the conditions for the recursive part that is the overall code part i don't have much to explain here as well because you can understand it much clearly when you read the code part or if you just draw draw out some of the cases because we have to go on the right hand side as well as left left hand side if both the nodes exist you have to only go like we have to print an empty parenthesis if there is nothing on the left hand side but they are on the right hand side and we don't have to write down anything for the right hand side if there is only left hand side there's only like two three cases you can write down and just very simple to put it out this is a very standard type of things which is generally used in different problems so it becomes very intuitive when you solve different type of problems that's the overall tangum stuff for a tangum city it is like iterating over the whole tree so it is like o of n your traversal as well as nothing is stored in the space so no space not like o of one you can assume uh, and tangum city is o of n that's all time of city and space complexity for this problem if you still have any doubts or if you want to give more suggestions for such type videos do ping me in the comment box and i will see you in the next one i'll keep coding and bye